Hey guys, it's Shay here from Pro EMP, and today I'm going to be using Machine as a plugin within Pro Tools, and I'm going to be processing a house drum loop that I made earlier using SSL plugins. So let's get straight into it. Here's my Pro Tools session, and as you can see, I've got a machine track at the top, which is housing my machine plugin. I have 12 audio tracks ready to record my 12 separate sounds from my machine pattern, and then I have a range of buses. The only buses I'm really going to be using today, however, are my drums and maybe my distortion bus. These will then all feed into a submix, and then we'll go to master. So let's get straight into this. Here is my pattern from machine. At the minute, if I play this, you will hear nothing. Now this is how this is supposed to be. This is because I've outputted all of my sound through extension outputs kick, extension two, clap, extension three, closed hat, four, etc., all the way down to my 12th sound, which is a clap, which is going out extension 13. Now in Pro Tools, my tracks one to 12 for my 12 sounds, their inputs are my machine extensions. So extension two, all the way through to 13. Now this is why we can't hear when we're playing it back. I need to drag all of these tracks, put them all into a record mode, and then record this pattern through. So as I record it through, you'll hear what the pattern sounds like. I elongated the pattern length there just slightly, just to give it a little bit more action and a little bit more variation. But now I have my recorded parts in, I can take all of these out of record mode and now listen back to my pattern. And as you can see, all of my tracks are in the individual stems and they're feeding my drum bus. So let's move on to some processing. If I go to my first track here, my kick drum, Let's listen to this in solo. So that's a fairly standard kick drum sound. Let's look at the plugins. So the first plugin I have is the SSL channel strip. Now this has an EQ, it has a compressor, it has an expander gate, it has filters and an input and output gate. For now, I'm just gonna leave this in as it is just in case I need to go back for some EQ or some compression. The main plugin I'm gonna look at for this track is the SSL drum strip. Now this drum strip has five separate sections and each five section works into each other. So it starts off with a gate, which is a fairly comprehensive gate, a very usable gate. It then moves into a transient shaper, then moves into a low frequency enhancer, onto a high frequency enhancer, and then to this listen mic compressor, which is a really quirky compressor. This was a compressor that was taken from the talk back, I believe, on an old analog SSL desk and then got used as a creative tool. So this is a really good plugin for manipulating drums. What I'm gonna focus on in this here is really the transient shaper and the low frequency enhancer for my kick drum. So let's play and tweak. I'm kind of getting the same gain in as I was out, but the sound is completely different. I've got so much more body to my kick, and I've got a little bit more transient push for my kick. This transient shape is excellent. Your speed from zero to one, zero being it takes a while for it to read that transient, and one being it starts to choke that transient out, and then an amount control for it, then just an overall gain. It's very, very easy to use, and you kind of learn how to use it by listening to it. I'm not gonna use this compressor here, I may use this for a clap. All I'm gonna use is this low frequency enhancer and this transient shaper. So that's our kick, let's move over to the clap. So for this clap, I just dragged and drop copied the same drum strip. However, I'm gonna make a few changes to this one. So I'm gonna turn the transient shaper off and I'm gonna use the high frequency enhancer on this and then tweak around with this slightly. I may even use this compressor. So let's have a listen to just the clap on its own.
So there, I'm, I'm kind of getting where I want from here. I may even add in some of this low frequency enhancer. This transient shaper and the um, enhancer here for the high frequencies kind of made it sound a tiny bit thin. But the good thing is I've got a low frequency enhancer here so I can bring some of that depth back in. So let's try that. It's just given it so much more grunge and more sort of drum machine, low bit rate sound, which nowadays is kind of a good thing to have in your house tracks. So let's listen to those kick and snare together. There we go, just bringing down that dry wet mix to around about 50% gives both of those sounds. So I like the original, but I also like the new one. The original was slightly too dull and a bit lifeless, and the new one was a little bit too pokey. But a marriage of the two using this dry and wet gives me the perfect sound that I want. So let's move on to the rest of the tracks. Let's unsolo my kick and snare and have a listen to the full loop. Now let's have a listen to one of these loops here. So let's uh, circle in on one of my edited loops. Let's have a listen to uh, this middle one. Now this I think is gonna do well having that listen mic compressor on from the drum strip. So let's have a listen to this now. just so much more added power, depth, thickness, dirt. It just adds so much character to this sound. So let's go without. Pretty plain. I mean, I liked it at first, but now listening to it with this on, it's just so much more flavor added. So let's listen to the whole loop with just these plugins. feeling this loop now it's sounding like a more accomplished loop the last thing i'm going to do to this is go to my distortion section and this is the distortion bus so it's just an auxiliary send for a bus distortion and this is the ssl x saturator i've talked about this in a, another video two other videos i believe and what i'm going to do is add in some of this parallel to my overall drum bus so i'm going to click into pro tools find my disto bus and then slowly bring this in for my drum so let's have a listen Now I'm going to go to my submix and I'm going to have a look down in my submix here and I'm going to just give it some overall compression at the end. On my submix I have the SSL EQ which is just a 24 hertz roll off. I've got this saturator here again but there's no drive going on it's just sort of running through the plugin which does add some added flavor but nothing too drastic. I've got the VMR but nothing going on in this VMR whatsoever and then I've got the SSL bus compressor. So let's compress these drums together just to get a bit more tightness. <laughs>
that's pretty much my loop done. Let's select all of these tracks and do this really helpful little trick up here where I can bypass all plugins and bypass all inserts. So let's listen to without any inserts whatsoever. So basically what it sounded like as I made it in machine. And then let's listen to my processes through the SSL native plugins within Pro Tools. sound is completely different. It sounds like a finished loop now. I am getting a lot more gain, so I'm going to use my VMR just for the trimmer plugin, and I'm going to pull that gain down so I can meet those gains again. So that's kind of a good match there. I think we're all in agreement that that is a much better sounding loop. I'm now in the position where I can just bounce this one out, drag and drop it into a new session where my prep work is already done for the sound of my drums and just use quick chops and edits for arrangements of my drum sounds. Drop me a question underneath this video and go to www.proemp.co.uk.